Welcome to part two of our trip down New and Older Bond Street for this year's Christmas decorations. And primarily we're covering off things that we didn't see the first time. And we're starting off here back at Cartier. Now we covered this, but what we didn't show you was the flashing light sequence that they do in time with music. Now what we can't do because YouTube won't allow us to is play the music they're actually playing. But if you want to come up here and see this and see it and actually see it in time, it happens every 30 minutes on the hour and the half hour. We've timed it. So if you want to come up and see that, that's what you do. And the whole sequence lasts about two minutes. Now in our first part video, we showed you the window displays that they had at Tiffany. And funnily enough, this is one of the window displays they had. And as you can see, they've replicated it on the outside of the building in massive scale. So that's this year's outside Christmas decoration. It's a large star, but made up with lots and lots of birds around the outside. But you've got to look really closely to see it. Almost over the road from Tiffany, you've got Stella McCartney, and they always have really lovely neon signs out every year. And this year, no exception. Now they haven't done the whole building as they've done before, but they've done the balcony above the ground floor shop, and they've done the front shop window as well. And also, if you look really closely, there's loads and loads of people inside. That's because the night we filmed, they were having their Christmas party. Makes you wonder who was in there. Anyway, whoever it was, I wonder if they pulled up in my car, which I've just parked outside there. Do you like that, my green Lamborghini? Yeah, I couldn't get any other color. Right, let's have a look in Max Mara. This reminds me of one of the other shops that we filmed in part one of our video, which had no relevance to Christmas whatsoever. But they've done, they put a few birds in there, I suppose, on a tree branch. And here you've got a um, golden palm tree, which is very nice. Maybe on the first day of Christmas, my, no, they didn't give me a golden palm tree. But anyway, it looks very nice anyway. Right, back to my car, which I parked outside Rolex. And of course, if you've got that much money, you can park anywhere you like, really, can't you? But it got a lot of attention. Now, the last time we came down to Gucci, they had all the shutters closed. So you can see a bit, but not really that well. So let's have a look and see what Gucci have got in their window this year. Uh, so you've got someone all dressed up. There you go, got some people doing some private shopping in the background there. And in the other windows, you've got astronomy with shoes and handbags. Yep, a good fit, but looks quite effective, doesn't it? And very, very flashy. There we go. And when you look at the handbags, certainly not as many as they had at the front of Harrods when we covered that one. Now, if you've picked this video up and you haven't seen part one of our Bond Street coverage of Christmas lights this year, I'll put a link to that up in the top right hand corner. So you haven't got to go searching for it. And that will go in tandem quite nicely with this video. Certainly very bright in Gucci's windows this year. Not quite sure fully the Christmas theme, but hey, what the heck. Right, even when shops are closed, as you can see, the blinds are down, but the garlands are still on, making it look lovely. Now, Valentino this year have put a big video screen here, right at the back, just behind their stuff they're showing in the window. So actually, you can sit here and watch this go by. Now, last year, Valentino did all of their major windows. That's all the windows above ground, which we'll show you in a second. And they made them all different colors. So it looked like it was a uh, an old type of celebrity squares edition. I've put a link to last year's video up top so you can see, but this year they just put the mannequins in the window. Right, so that's our view down Old Bond Street. We're now gonna go back to New Bond Street and we're gonna walk back up towards Chanel. But before we do, back to Cartier and next door to Cartier, you've got a small Chanel jewelers. And what they put in the front here is this. So here they've gone Gucci-esque and gone for the sort of the stars theme here, also with the moon as well. But it's quite interesting because when you see Chanel, the main store in a minute, which is opposite Louis Vuitton, there doesn't seem to be any connection between the two themes. Anyway, am I a building designer? Of course not. So what would I know? Now, the interesting thing about Bond Street is if you've got a car, you haven't got to worry about parking because guess what you can do? You can just park it. And we've shown you this one before in the previous video. Yes, you remember those with all the lights, but once again, another Christmas party going on. And we stood there and we just watched the cars pull up and all of these very, very wealthy people just sort of walk out and walk into the parties if that's just what they do on a Wednesday night. We would have bought you some pictures of that, but they were getting a little bit upset by the fact I was pointing a camera in their general direction. Anyway, there you go. 
Now normally this Judas really does make a go for it at Christmas, but this year they've decided to go over to Chelsea and they've put some big decorations over in Chelsea, which they've uh, actually switched on a lot later than when we went over there and filmed. Recognise the crowns? Yes! We are now coming into New Bond Street up by Louis Vuitton and we're going to show you Dior and we're also going to show you Chanel as well. If you're loving the video and it's giving you even more value than part one, then please do us a favour, give us a big thumbs up, will you? And if you haven't subscribed yet, you need to, otherwise you're going to miss the rest of our Christmas videos coming every day between now and Christmas Day. Now one of the things I really love about doing YouTube is the people out there that have got the knowledge. So a big thank you to Steve Rennie out in Canada. And you can see the words on the top here. And the words on the top in French actually translate into English, which is spread your wings and dream of infinity. So a big thanks to Steve Rennie out in Canada. Now whilst we were filming here, I thought, crikey, I didn't bring this to you before. Now this is one of the Dior places in France, and I recognise it from the front windows of Harrods. And I put a link to that video up in the top right hand corner, because if you remember, Harrods this year has got all Dior scenes all across their windows around the front of their building. Now for the main Chanel shop this year, they've decided to go jewellery. Can't quite work out what it is. Is it a bracelet? Is it a necklace? Who knows? But anyway, they've stuck some jewellery on the front of their building this year with the traditional CC for Chanel. Also, just check out all of the lights on all of the uh, hanging pieces of jewellery and also check out the lights on the bow going on and off as well. Chanel not doing it too overstated this year. Love it. Right, as we went down New Bond Street, we found this place, Nicoli. Um, never heard of it before, and I know you guys will definitely know it out there and will be shouting at your screens going, oh, you idiot, it is. But anyway, how about this golden Christmas tree in the window? Absolutely beautiful. And by the way, yes, they've hung shoes and handbags and various other accessories off it. That must be a super strong tree, because I have enough trouble getting baubles on ours and staying on. Now, if money is no object, then Claridge's could be your place to stay if you're in central London. Yes, it's just behind Bond Street. We wanted to bring you these Christmas trees that have got all set up above the canopy as you go in and out to the famous swing doors. But there's another reason that we've been down to Claridge's, and every year they have a Christmas tree inside their foyer, which has been designed by a designer. And this is the Jimmy Choo tree this year. But have no fear, we're gonna be bringing you a video very shortly of the five best Christmas trees around London. So keep an eye out for that, and this will be one of them, just giving you a sneak preview. So what were your favourite lights that you saw in this part two of the Bond Street Christmas lights? And if you love the lights here, then you want to go down the road to Mayfair because those lights are amazing as well. And I've put a link to our video up in the top right hand corner. So we'll see you in there.